This is Lounging with Lisa, ladies and gentlemen, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with news items of the day. I could not wait till the morning, um, frankly. I'm in, I'm in the storeroom. I'm not kidding. Anyhow, um, I wanted to let you know that Perpetual and I saved that chipmunk. What happened was it went, um, once again, I have Halloween teeth tonight. This lighting. Anyhow, I went out to the kitchen, um, Perpetual said, uh, that, Louise chased it around and around, and he just lifted his legs up while at the table. And the little chippy ended up where it was originally when I moved that tray. You know, wedged in beside the oven and the um, wall. And so he devised a total plan. Um, you know, we buy huge bags of cat food since we have a cat house. You know, get your minds out of the gutter. Halloween teeth. Oh my God, it's so weird. Anyhow, well, so we save the empty bags because usually, like, I'll put paper products in there or something to kind of recycle. I'm trying to do my part, ladies and gentlemen. And so Perpetual said, why don't you, meaning me, get down kind of low and have that bag, this big bag, ready for the chip to run into. Uh, and so then he got, uh, uh, you have to excuse me, I just did something that you're not allowed to do in Pennsylvania, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, he got a mop handle, and he kind of went back there, and the chipmunk was so cute because we were able to look back there and see. It made a little nest back there. It was like inside of a piece of, um, like a, what was it that fell back there? i got to clean that out tomorrow. It's on my list of things to do. It was a, um, a napkin. God, I couldn't think of it, and it was all curled in there and all. And Perpetual got the broom and just kind of nudged it. And it flew out right into the bag. I closed the top wildly. I dashed to the front door like a mad woman. And it was in there just like a pinball inside that bag. Boom, 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 boom. And I took it and I dumped the bag out. I was holding the bag upside down onto the wet yard, ladies and gentlemen. And the little chippy was hanging onto the ceiling, so to speak, of the bag. And finally he came out, made a little noise. It was so sweet. And he ran toward the tree, and then he ran real fast beyond, and so he's safe and sound. And that's the story of the chipmunk rescue here in the home tonight. Signing off, good night. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with news items of the day from a storeroom.